Hey there. In this video, I'm going to walk through how to connect a Zybook assignment to a Brightspace or D2L gradebook. In order to follow along with this video, you'll need to make sure that Zybooks has been set up as a tool provider in Brightspace first. To learn how to do this, you can actually go to our help center by going to support.zybooks.com. Then you can go to the section for instructors, and down here at the bottom, there's a section on LTI, and you can either follow along with the help article adding Zybooks as an LTI 1.1 external tool app or LTI 1.3 configuration. Once that's been done, you're ready to get started. You'll notice in my Zybook here that I already have several assignments that I've created. Most of these assignments have a little blue chain link icon next to them, which indicates to me that I've already linked those assignments. You may notice that week three challenge activities does not have a link next to it yet. So let's go ahead and get that one set up. To get started, we'll actually start in Brightspace. In Brightspace, you see that I have several modules that I've already set up for each of my weeks. And we're gonna go ahead and add a week three challenge activities assignment to the week three module. To do that, I'll click on add existing activities and we want to select external learning tool. This is important. From here, you wanna make sure you click on create new LTI link. A common mistake is to click on an existing link, but we always want to create a new one. Next, you're gonna be asked to provide a title and a URL. Our title is going to be week three CX and our URL is going to be this. To look up the URL, you can actually go back to our help center and this time we'll go to the help center article for how to link a Zybook assignment. You can jump straight to the article for Brightspace. And if you scroll down a bit, you can see that URL is right here. Next, we're gonna go ahead and click create an insert. You'll notice that my new assignment was added to the bottom of my module. So I'll go ahead and click on it. And you'll see this is going to take me to my Zybooks library. In this case, I'm only teaching one class, Elevate Your Zy Skills. So we'll go ahead and click on that. That's the book I want to link to. And then you'll see I have two options over here on the right, Create a Link Assignment or Link to Section. Both of these are going to give me single sign-on, which means that the students won't have to enter any password. They'll just get automatically logged into their account and be taken to the correct Zybook. However, only creator link assignment has grade pass back. So since we are setting up grade pass back in this tutorial, that's the one I'm gonna go ahead and select. Next, you can see all of my existing assignments are right here. And now they each have a little um, blue link next to them. So I want to connect to week three challenge activities. So I'm gonna click the link word next to week three challenge activities. The last thing we're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that we get this connected to the grade book. So I'm gonna to wanna to scroll down in Brightspace Make sure that you're scrolling down with the outer scroll bar and not the inner Zybook scroll bar. Then down here at the bottom under assessment, we wanna select add a grade item. We can click to add a new grade item. And then we wanna also go ahead and give it a name. I highly recommend giving it the same name as the assignment itself. Then you have the option to change the point value. Zybooks will always send scores as a percentage, which means that you can either do a one-to-one -one mapping of points. So in this case, this assignment is worth out of 87 points, or you can pick a standard point value. So in my case, I'm actually gonna leave this at 10. Lastly, I can click create, we'll save that, and that's it. 